Sarah Good was born on July 11, 1655, to John and Elizabeth Solart, who were wealthy innkeepers during their life. However, after her father's death, Sarah struggled to obtain the inheritance of her father's fortune. There was a family feud over who would receive the money, with Sarah's mother winning all of her husband's earnings. Later on, she married Daniel Poole, who was an indentured servant. But soon after they were married, he died and left the debt from his indentured work to Sarah. After Daniel's death, she married a second man named William Good. But the troubles from her first marriage still plagued her. During this marriage, she had to sell all of their property in order to pay for the debt left over from her first husband. All of these events from her harsh life led her to become a wanderer. She became secluded and often kept to herself. Sarah would beg for money around town, and if anyone would refuse to give anything to her, she would walk away bitterly chanting. Many people saw this behavior as strange and felt like she was trying to hide something because this was not the way properly behaved women acted. This led her to become an easy target for the witch trials, and on February 25, 1692, three girls accused her of witchcraft and placing a curse on them when wounds appeared on their body. There were many things which the townspeople used as evidence against her. During her trial, they said that livestock would die whenever she was around. They also asked her to repeat the Ten Commandments, which she claimed she chanted while walking away. However, when she was unable to do so, many people concluded that she was putting a curse on them. Of the three people that were accused of being witches, Sarah claimed that she was the only one that was innocent, but she was convicted nonetheless. While waiting for her sentence, she gave birth to a child, who died shortly afterwards while she was inside of the jail. On July 19, 1692, she was hung. Just before she was killed, she said to the people there that, You are a liar. I am no more of a witch than you are a wizard. And if you take away my life, God will give you blood to drink. Twenty-five years later, Reverend Nicholas Noyes, who tried to get her to confess to being a witch, died of a hemorrhaging and choked on his own blood. 